Now this is what you will see when you try to look at the eye through the pupil with a direct ophthalmoscope or with a 90D lens. The structures that you will be seeing, the most obvious one that you will see is the optic disc. It's nothing but the point of entrance of the optic nerve into the eye. That is the optic disc. Next, a bright yellow spot that you will see onto the left of the optic disc is your fovea and the macula. The macula is this whole area and the central region is called the fovea and it has the highest visual acuity. It is the area of highest visual acuity. Okay, And then the vessels obviously the central retinal artery, the retinal venules and the retinal arterioles. Okay. Now let us look in detail about retina proper. The first and foremost thing that we need to remember is that it is a transparent colorless structure and all the color that you see when you look, through, look at it through the pupil is the color of the choroidal vessels that is transmitted through the transparent layer of retina. So the retina is basically made up of 10 layers. All of these are the 10 different layers of retina and it is broadly classified into two parts. The first one is the neurosensory retina which, com which is composed of the first nine layers or the anterior nine layers of the retina. They form the neurosensory retina and the last layer or the tenth layer is the retinal pigment epithelium. I'm going to refer it as the RPE. So that is the tenth layer. So just to name these layers, the first layer that is towards the vitreous is the nerve fiber layer followed by the ganglion cell layer then comes your IPL that's nothing but the inner plexiform layer followed by the inner nuclear layer then the outer plexiform layer the outer nuclear layer the external limiting membrane then the external limiting membrane is followed by the layer of rods and cones and then the last one is the retinal pigment epithelium you don't have to remember all these layers just for uh, just for a clarification, I have told them. Okay, so let's proceed further. Now we have seen that the retina is made up of 10 layers. However, there is one exception where there are no 10 layers. That is the fovea and the macula. Here the retina is not made up of the 10 layers. See all these uh, layers which I have explained until now. These are the 10 layers of retina with an exception of the fovea and macula. Now let's look at the blood supply of retina. Now retina is a very crucial part of the eye and it is too precious for it to have a single blood supply. So we have a dual blood supply for the retina. So the inner two third is supplied by the central retinal artery and the outer one third is supplied by the posterior ciliary artery. Okay. Let's look at it again. The inner two-third is supplied by the central retinal artery and the outer one-third is supplied by the posterior ciliary artery. However, the PCA also supplies the choroid. Okay. There is a layer called the watershed layer. What is the watershed layer? It is the layer of a junction between the inner and outer retinal blood supply and where does this layer occur? It occurs in the outer plexiform layer of the retina. So the watershed layer, it's an important question. The watershed layer of retina is present in the outer plexiform layer. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sai Suguna, your mentor for ophthalmology at MediCoab. Thanks for watching the video. Now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app. The trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below.